All right, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome back to a brand new video today. I have a I have something a little bit different. I'm gonna be reacting to the the Xbox Games Show Pass and the reveal of Black Ops 6. That's pretty much the main thing I'm here for and as well as some, some other shit that's going on. So I really hope you guys enjoy. I've had this paused because I wanted to make sure my auto levels were good and I also wanted to make sure I got everything taken care of before this got shown so I could you guys have my 100% attention and everything so without further ado I'm just gonna jump straight into it because I'm fucking excited this is off the IGN stream this isn't off Xbox came in through the back door. yeah we already know Frank Woods we know Saddam Hussein's the antagonist don't, don't trust anyone I've been saying that like I haven't been touching on the news a whole lot because while I was moving while everything was getting announced was I had really bad timing on that but I really get Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 vibes off of this campaign or off of the Good screenshots evening. we've seen the Soviet Union is no more despite a potential for instability and chaos these events clearly serve our national interest free okay the specter of global conflict <laughs> using in-game footage and cinematics today we celebrate oh, is it on a pc or a American console renewal something's going on activision presents black site something big I'm a every black ops game has been a banger i am i figured if i stuck around so, oh my god please see the devil how's he look Yep, Adler's back. I'm a fire starter. Fire starter. The agency is compromised. We're being hunted from the inside. Okay. Fire fire you don't have to trust me, Marshal. But it might be better if you do. Hey! It's something you should see. There he is! What are we getting into? Don't trust anyone. Okay, the juggernaut. So that's probably gonna come back. That reminds me of the Modern Warfare 2. Um, I think you were in an AC-130 attacking the sub base when the nukes were going off or something like that. CIA black site. Looks so familiar. Are you out of your mind? Things got complicated. Continue to bless the United States of America. I'm not gonna lie, they, they kind of have me in their clutches a little bit, but I got chills off that shit. This is what I'm here for, baby. Show me the insight, please. Inspire me to be fucking excited for the Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 3 was a good a step in the right direction. Please, top six. Let's inspire me. Never watched any of these directs before, so hopefully. Hello and welcome to Treyarch in Los Angeles and thanks for joining us today. We're excited to share what we've been working on for the past few years. For Black Ops 6, we really wanted to give ourselves the time to craft something truly great. This means we're delivering a new level of polish and innovation across all parts of the game. Okay. And global innovations across the entire oh. game. Okay, that'd be pretty cool to recreate, like, with the things on you. Just pretending to smack this dude the fucking face. Oh my, I would love that job. Round based zombies is absolutely back and better than ever. But you can be sure it's full of surprises. Yes! With that, let's step into the Fuck. mind bending campaign yes! experience we've been crafting with our partners at Raven. We are excited to offer a variety of different enemy types in the campaign. The goal was to provide different challenges for the player. So whether they choose to go. Oh my god! Or take a stealthier approach. Line them up right, you can take them both down with one shot. Nice, nice and quiet. Fucking minigun with a riot shield on it. Possible in terms of how our enemy combatants behave. Your enemies will be relentless, constantly seeking to outmaneuver you throughout the levels. They'll cut off escape routes, push on players' location, and force them to think on their feet. So adaptive. We've created certain missions where we give you a high level objective and a variety of ways to approach that objective. You'll find that some of our destinations have a startling contrast in look and feel as well. We have a mission that takes place in an opulent casino in Southern Europe. 
It's unlike any past mission in Call of Duty. And what the player does in this space is totally unexpected. And another one of our missions we have set in the harsh tundra of northern Russia. I fuck anything with the snow, I fuck with it. We are excited to offer an array of brand new equipment, as well as some favorites from the Black Ops universe. OCXD! Tranquilizer trap. Adrenaline stem. Homing knife. Disruptor. Sorry, did I just see a homing throwing knife? Okay, the attacker comes in. I'll go. Three, two, one, go! That was sick. They would they would have to tell me to Here not be it. too violent on that thing. If I'm get I'm getting someone to fucking Black Ops 6 boom is to create a more connected experience that keeps players immersed across every single mode. Is that the Okay. We've pushed that. ourselves at every corner to innovate and craft the most that, oh. signature Black Ops experience for our players. Movement has been a consistent area of focus and innovation for Call of Duty. And with Black Ops 6, we're redefining movement across the entire game. For the first time ever, players can sprint in any direction and move Excuse like a true Black Ops action Excuse me? with an entirely new global system we call Omni Movement. This unlocks the ability to move like never before and seamlessly chain combat maneuvers like slide, dive, and our enhanced supine prone in full 360 degrees range of motion. We also have what we're calling intelligent movement, which is a set of features that drastically reduces how many buttons or keys you're pressing to perform various movements. These can be enabled in player options and they're broken Ooh. down into three categories. Sprint assist. Sprint assist, mantle assist, and crouch assist. And each of these settings will allow for fine tuning. Oh. Intelligent movement really started with this idea that we want all players to focus on what they want to do and not how to do it. The thing that I'm most excited about is the number of new weapons from the era that we've added, which includes many that are brand new to the franchise. Oh, new guns. Our heroes are rogue operatives and they operate outside the normal playbook. That means they're procuring gear by any means necessary. And it allowed us to pull a unique mix of weapons. We made sure to deliver dozens of unique attachments for every gun, and this allows the players to create a weapon to match any place. Don't tell me we have like 70 attachments per gun. And tone of the era. Don't tell me we're doing another like fucking level 70 for a gun. Ooh, the HUD, okay. The Black Ops 6 user experience is all about focusing players on what they need when they need it. And our in-game HUD is no different. From the mini-map to, this is clean. to in game notifications. This is very Black much Ops um find some of our best designs uh, and okay. streamlined experience. What is that on the right? For the first time in Call of Duty, players will be able to change their HUD in dramatic ways to suit their needs. For instance, streamers can choose a layout optimized for their setup. Or maybe you want your HUD centered so you don't have to look away. The fuck? Wanna now here we go. Early on in Black Ops 6's development, we set a goal to make leveling and XP matter more than ever. Looking back through the Call of Duty and Black Ops catalog, there's a lot of love, both internally at Treyarch and that we see in our community, for how we used to handle prestige. Oh my god, please. please. Traditional prestige is back yes! in Call of Duty with Black oh Ops Oh my thank goodness! We pulled the best of the best from past Call of Duty prestige systems yes. and are going bigger Fuck and more seasonal rewarding prestiges, than ever. Man. Just let me Players grind. in each max player level will have the choice to enter prestige, start fresh with relocked gear, and go through the leveling journey again. Yes. Black Ops 6 will have 10 prestiges each with a valuable set of rewards to earn and equip to peacock your status. The... Players who make it through Prestige 10 aren't done. No, Instead, they'll graduate into Prestige Master with a thousand additional levels to climb through and yes. a classified reward to uncover for anyone dedicated enough to make it all the way to the end. Let's the go. full Prestige system is available on day one in Black Ops 6. That is, I, that's what I love to hear. The shit that shouldn't have been gone is finally back. We know how many of our players look forward to multiplayer, and we will be providing a deep dive on it later in the year. For now, here's some insight into our development of Black Ops 6 multiplayer. Our vision since day one has been to craft an approachable and engaging step change of that signature Black Ops multiplayer experience. We focused on supporting three core playstyles for launch. 
Enforcers are the slayers who like to kill and stay on the move. Recon is all about intel and counter intel play. And strategists are support players who throw their bodies at objectives for the win or focus on taking out enemy score streaks for the team. Mm -hmm. All of our weapons, gear, and gadgets in multiplayer have been intentionally designed through that lens of supporting these play styles. And of course, it wouldn't be a Black Ops game if you can't relive those action hero moments in theater mode, which we're happy to announce is returning yes! to Black Ops 6. Yes! Fuck! Yes! We're only getting a finally, I can today, record a can finally record live comms with my train of thought and not stutter every 10 seconds. And I can go back and yes! Four, 6v6 and four strike maps which can be played as 6v6 or 2v2 oh. what do to make the game fast -paced. the maps have their own stories and Ooh. we have multiplayer taking place after the campaign after you finish it so don't want to get into too many spoilers there but you'll experience some of those locations through the multiplayer lens heard a lot today but couldn't leave you without giving you just one more thing zombies 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 I will be grinding zombies. I'll, I, I'm gonna try and go hard as fuck with Black Ops 6 release. I slacked so hard on Modern Warfare 3. I'm like seven or eight guns off of finishing Borealis and zombies, but I want to go hard as fuck when this game releases. Now zombies is back, and we're picking up the Dark Aether storyline where we left it. We're excited to announce that there will be Wait. two brand new maps available at launch, the Dark with a curated mix of fan favorite features and new elements to discover. For those new to zombies, it's our unique take on the cooperative horde mode, where every map is packed full of powerful weapons and upgrades, deadly enemies, and tons of secrets to uncover. As you've heard today, the innovations and movement systems will also be coming to zombies. Nice. Plus, there are many additional zombie-specific features, both new and returning. This is going to be a truly epic return for round-based zombies. So make sure to mark your calendars for our worldwide multiplayer reveal event at Call of Duty Next on August 28th. August 28th. Make sure to stay tuned for details and yep. watch your favorite streamers get hands-on Black Ops 6 so you can be prepped and ready to jump into our MP beta and feel Omni movement for yourself. Yeah. We'll be sharing so much more about Black Ops 6 in the coming months mm -hmm. and look forward to seeing your reactions and your feedback from our open beta coming up this fall and into launch. Okay, I'll admit, I'm pretty excited. I A lot of, it sounds like they've been listening very closely. Like, yes, we've been screaming a lot of the, what they're saying to bring back from the rooftops, but it definitely sounds like they've been listening. And that makes me happy because I want to, I want to feel heard by the communities that I'm playing the games for. You know, the Vault Edition, Gobblegums are coming back. You saw that, Gobblegums. I'm pretty sure that was rumored before rather than actually featured. Honestly, like I said, it sounds like they've been listening very closely and very intently. Like, we got Prestige System back. We've got the three-lane system back. We've got round-based zombies back. We have a bunch of stuff that should never have been changed coming back to this game, as well as returning things that people liked, but I don't- I didn't see and hear a lot of people talking about, like, Gobblegums and, like, the, um, like, a new movement system as well. I don't know how much I'm going to personally like the new movement system. I genuinely don't. I will give it a try and I will definitely I'll do my best. I'm also going to go hard as fuck in the new Black Ops game because if the pr traditional prestige system and then going to level 1000 is a thing, I might genuinely, like genuinely grind the fuck out of that game. I feel like I feel like with the current call, state of Call of Duty now, am I max level? Fuck no. But... Once I get to max level in the game, unless I'm just playing it to play it, I've got nothing to do. I can grind challenges, but the EXP I get is gone to waste. I don't know, I feel like Call of Duty is capping my playtime. Whereas in this, in Black Ops 6, my playtime is borderline unlimited. Also, I'd love to see if we get a zombies rank again. A zombie like we have in Black Ops 2 with the skulls and the cro and the crossbones and stuff like that. I'd love to see if we get that back. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia signing off. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.